Hello everybody, it's Carol Murphy and I'm live. If you do not know me, I'm a presenter with Unique and it's a get ready with me video. So we can chat, just have a good time. Let me know when you come on, give me your favorite emoji. That will be great. So how's your day going? Mine's going good. I uh, had my shift until nine this morning. Went out to breakfast with a friend. Then, um, hi, Linda, how are you? Then I went and um, did some errands and came home, put my groceries away. Whoops, never talk and do that. <laughs> How are you? Hi, how are you, Lisa? Just doing my brows with the eyebrow pencil. I wanted to get a base face on, but forgot. Time just got away. This probably won't be as short as they usually are. And this is a medium brow pencil. I love this. You can make it as light or as dark as you want. And since I've been wearing them darker, I kind of like them darker, so. There we go. Like that. I'm going to prime my face with our Touch Glorious Face Primer. I want to use one that's almost done first. So, this is the Touch Glorious Face Primer. It's backwards. Sorry about that. Just use a little bit on your hand here. Just a pea size. This one looks like a Excuse me, a big pea size, though. And you put it on, what it does is helps the makeup not to soak into the pores. And I love it. I did my skincare before I came on, so I used the cleanser, the rose water toner, the serum, and the day cream. And it was great. I can prime the eyebrows too. So that will help that to stay on. Oh, yeah, okay. So I had already did the, done them, okay. I may go over them a little bit if they're not dark enough. So. And what you do is you let this set for five minutes and you get your neck too. So what's your day like? Let me know. I've got my mascaras warming up. So let's show you what I did with the festival eye just for fun yesterday. So I use this for my festival queen look. And what we'll do is prime the eyelids because that will make the yellow pop on there. So, I didn't know what I was going to do today with the eyes, but I could probably do a nude eye and a bright lip, but let's go with this. I just thought of it now, so just put a little bit of primer on and just dab it on the lid. And this will make it pop, the yellow and the red in the front. So 
Okay, so what I did first was put the yellow on the lid. And it's called Vindictive. This is palette number five. Hi, Bill. How are you? What's going on? Just showing a festival eye look. So we'll put this on. This will make the lid pop. How's your day going? Please show me your favorite emoji when you come on. Save the room there for a little red. We go up there. And see how it pops? That's good. This is Festival Eye, Festival Queen. <laughs> then I'm going to take the crease brush and go in with the purple, which is Fearless. This is the purple that's Fearless in Palette 5. And you go up here, and I have to get right on the brow bone, so I'm just going up a little bit and go on the brow bone. And we're going to blend this in. It's going to look nice. I'm not going to make it as festive as it was yesterday because I'm going to wear it to work, so... So the weather is nice. It's hot and humid here, but it is sunny off and on. Sunny to partly cloudy. And loving it. There we go. What I want to do now is add a little red, and I went in with... sarcastic just going to put that on the inner corner right in here and also going to blend it in with um, the purple here there we go We'll get the blending brush. Watch this. Now, if you do not see the red live button up here, you can then press, and uh, you can then let me know that you watched it on replay. That will be great. However you want to let me know. This is how I did the festival eye look yesterday. Look at that. Oh, nice. Now we got to copy that on that side. Okay, the purple's there. We'll get some of the red, the sarcastic. We'll put it there and back here. Might need a little more purple in there. This will get the lines out. Look at that. Isn't that nice? 
Now I'm going to go down on the lower lash with the purple. And connect that. There we go. This gives you the look of more lashes. Now I'm going to put um, Brilliant on the upper part of the eye and in the inner corner here, Brilliant. There we go. I probably put too much of Brilliant on the inner corner. We'll see if I can get some of that blended off. Okay, that one's better and would go. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better there. So that is how I did the eyes. Then what we'll do is the mascara, because I'm not going to use any of the eyeliners that I used. I did use this uh, blue eyeliner yesterday. I did put it there and went out and did a little design. But I'm not going to do that today, so whoops. So I'm going to put the waterproof mascara on. I had it warming up. And I use a mirror. Do, do, do. I will edit the description to, show, to say this is how we did the uh, Festival Queen Eye. But that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let me know what you think. Hello, Cynthia, how are you? How's it going? What's going on? Thanks for watching. Thanks for the love. Hi, Katie. Oh, it's Katie, right? Or Kaneen? I'm sorry, let's see. Oh, Cassie, okay, Cassie, sorry, can't read without my glasses. Sometimes I can see comments, sometimes not, so. If you're... Happy Wednesday, yes, happy Wednesday. It's hump day, yay! Happy hump day. So this is the festival eye look I did yesterday. How are you? Oh, thank you. How are you doing? So I'm putting the waterproof mascara on now. This is the first coat. We have three types of mascaras. There's the 4D Fiber Lash Mascara. We have the Black Waterproof Mascara. And we have Black and Brown Regular Mascara. So that is pretty cool. There we go. So, we, so you feel me, huh? <laughs> it's hot and humid here. How's the weather there, Kathy? Just got to get these. I'm very particular about the eyelashes.
And we're wearing a purple shirt to work, so maybe this will go good, right? <laughs> we'll see. Well, let me do the lower lash here. And I'll show you the difference. Whoops. With mascara, without. With, without. Amazing, huh? Oops, I was looking for the one with the brush. Oh, here it is. I hate doing that. The spoolie kind of helps remove the mascara. See that? So, now the other eye. But look at that. With and without. Oops, yeah, that's why I go like this, yeah. Oh. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, look at this, this is amazing. Look at that. Hi, how are you, Susan? Thanks for watching. What's going on? This is just to get ready with me, but I wanted to show you all how I did my festival eye. I'll explain it too. Look at that, isn't that nice one coat? Let it dry. Let it continue to warm up here. I'm going to use our liquid foundation. You know what? The touch, the stick foundation with the kabuki brush. Now we'll use the liquid. Okay. So, how's your day going, Sue? Susan, I mean? Or do you like Sue? Whatever, right? Hi, Mary Beth. How are you? Hey, Mary Beth. Thanks for watching. Okay, I did eight drops because I want a fuller coverage, but five usually works for me. And this is our liquid found mineral touch liquid foundation. And so you dab it on and you go in a downward motion. Some people um, swirl the brush around, but I like to go down in a downward motion. Good, oh, I'm glad you're doing well. That's good, or good. <laughs> I'll explain the eye look. I did a festival, festival eye look. Because I like the one I did yesterday. I repeated it, and I'll show you, or I'll tell you what I did. So you want to get your ears, too. And a liquid foundation is liquid, but it dries to a matte finish. So if you have oily skin, this will be good for you. I have dry skin, but I still use it because I like it. <laughs> Actually normal to dry now, since I've been taking care of it.
So this was velour, that's my shade. I'm a warm toned person, so velour is my shade though. So if you want to get color matched, let me know. Anyway, so now we got one coat of the waterproof on. I was gonna add the 4D fiber lash. Maybe I'll still do that. So we'll put the 4D fiber lash on. Hey, Janessa, how are you? What's going on? Thanks for watching. So this is the Epic 4D Fiber Lash Mascara. This is amazing. So I did one coat of the waterproof and we'll do one coat of the Epic 4D Fiber Lash. Look at how big, how are you, Janessa? Look at how big this is. This has all the fibers in it. It's encapsulated, so, and the fibers are encapsulated, meaning they're, they don't, the fibers won't drop out. They adhere to your lashes and they make them look longer. You turn and shimmy as you do it. Turn and shimmy. I did forget to remove the excess, so this should be good for both lashes, both sets of eyes. Now, I only do my upper lashes, I like them long, so. So what's everybody's day like? Let me know. And if you want to sprinkle across the internet, let me know. Feel free to do that. Share it or sprinkle to your groups and stuff. That will be good. Look at that. Without the 4D, with the 4D. might be getting the low on this because this came out in March and it's now July. No, I think there's still some in. Here we go. I'm not good at shimmying, but we will turn the brush and that works too. I may need to look in this mirror just to see. Oh yeah, it's going. It just doesn't look like it in there. There we go. Look at that. Now oh, I'll have to do two coats of this. So, what's your day like, girls? How's it going? I'll share with you what I put on. We're gonna do another coat. And this time I'll do the excess off and it will go on a little easier. I'm gently wiping it off. For me, turning the brush works. I don't shimmy very well, but whatever works for you, I'll try that. Oh, sorry, the hand's in the way. <laughs> Well, well, well. Just have trouble with this front one here. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Wow. Whoops, I get that off there. Okay. Get the excess off. There we go, gently. Whoops. Oh. Do, do, do. Excuse me while I fix this. It's always easy to fix when you have a spoolie if you get something on your eye, like mascara there, or the 4D fiber lash. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So, that was a festival eye look, so I'm going to put some spirited blush on. Just um, find it here. That's more a darker purple one and this is some um, support or spirited and find the blush brush here it is. okay there we go we got the blush brush hi Vixie how are you trying to wave there we go so we'll put this on See, I love our blushes, they're great. So our customer kudos is the your choice of the liquid foundation or touch powder, pressed powder foundation, or the mineral touch pressed powder foundation. You'll get a small rose water and you'll get your choice of color in our blush. And that's a great deal, over 20% off. Amazing. Haven't used Spirited in a while. Yeah. And it may look like it goes on, but it does soak in a little bit. It may look like there's a lot on, but it will soak in. So we'll just put a little more on so that would happen. So. Let me know how your day is going. Um, so for my lippy, I think we'll do a nude. Let's see. Here's soft hearted. Maybe we'll try that. This is our Splash Liquid Lipsticks. And they come with a lot, so we will get them off. I love these tips because that's a soft pink for the heavy eye here, huh? <laughs> Okay. So now I want to set all of this and I will use our setting spray, the Touch Behold setting spray. I like to put it on a blending bud. I do about eight squirts, eight half squirts. So it's nice and wet, so we just blend, get the eye and brows.
This helps set your makeup and keep it looking nice for longer. And I keep turning the blending bud to get to the wet part of this because when it's dry, then it's done. Get around the nose here because that always comes off. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you like it? I can't wait. I'm getting my hair cut Friday. <laughs> Excuse me. Went a little berserk with the um, highlight here again. There. We'll try and blend that a little bit. Okay. So that is today's look. Let me know what you think. Hi, Dorothy. So here's what I used, okay? I used palette five. Oh, it's over here. I may take palette one with me to do tomorrow. I used palette five. I, get, I did the festive, festival eye look. I put on um, Vindictive on the lid. Then I followed with, um, is that Unwavering? Hang on. <laughs> oh, Fearless on the contour. Then I followed with um, Sarcastic right below that as a transition color and I used Brilliant as my highlight. So I did that. I started with Touch Glorious Face Primer. I, I used the um, Liquid Foundation. I used the Supported Blush. The Spirited Blush, I mean, sorry. <laughs> the Spirited Blush. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> That's what I get for having things too close to the phones. The Spirited Blush and the Soft Hearted Lipstick. So how do you like the look? Is it good? See how it already went in, the, the Spirited? Probably add a little more. You. Oh, no, there it is. Well, we'll go there. There we go. So thank you for joining me tomorrow. I'll probably do another get ready with me. Just a, um, maybe the brightening face mask. Let me know if you want me to do that. So take care and have a great day. Bye.